The story we're reading today is called The Monster Who Did My Math. There once was a time I was frightened by numbers. They scared me at school and they haunted my slumbers. My brain had some kind of allergic reaction to multiplication, addition, subtraction. My blood would run cold at the thought of division, and decimal points would put spots in my vision. But now I see math from a new point of view. This is my story. I swear it's all true. It was late on a Sunday, and long past my bath. I'd waited all weekend to work on my math. I opened the book, and my hand started shaking. My forehead was sweating. My stomach was aching. My vision went blurry. I wanted to run. If only, I cried, all this homework were done. The clock turned a warning with 12 hollow tones. My spine began tingling. A chill froze my bones. Outside in the courtyard, lightning flashed with a boom, and a creature took shape in my shadowy room. His horns were bright red and his cape midnight black. His pencilly fingers tapped clickety-clack. Boo-hoo, cried the monster. I'm feeling your pain. This awful arithmetic's draining your brain. Say hasta luego to multiplication. Forget your subtraction. Go take a vacation. It's fast and it's painless and all guaranteed. Just sign on the line and you'll get what you need. I signed as he sharpened his fingers and thumbs. He added the add-ins and figured their sums. He gave me my copy and raised one eyebrow. Pay later, he asked me, or settle up now. Later, I answered. He laughed long and deep. In a flash, he was gone, and I went right to sleep. Ooh, he's sharpening his fingers. Ooh, that's scary. At school Monday morning, my homework was praised. The answers were perfect. My teacher amazed. My problems were solved in more ways than one. And no one but me could say how it was done. I looked at my homework that night. Tons of graphing. I called for the monster. I couldn't stop laughing. You kids of today are pathetic and lazy. Your minds are all mushy. Your morals are hazy. He graphed, at the, uh, he graphed all the points. Then he figured my bill. I'll pay later, I said. And he growled, yes, you will. The teacher looked over my homework the next day. I couldn't believe it. She gave me an A. But then Miss Markov said, come to the board. She wrote an equation. My temperature soared. My guts did a skydive. My knobby knees knocked. My classmates were giggling. They clocked, ticked, and talked. I prayed I might vanish like some kind of ghost. The teacher was fuming. My hiney was toast. I called that old creep when I got home from school. You burned me, I told him. I felt like a fool. He rolled out my contract and showed me the fine print. So the fine print. Look here, said the monster. You might need to squint. In paragraph 7 of clause 93, if you don't learn anything, do not blame me. My blood began boiling. boiling. My cheeks turned bright red. Hit the road. Take a hike. Don't come back here, I said. I'll go, snarled the monster. There's just one more thing. Your bill comes to $64. Cha-ching. I busted my bank, and he snatched up my money. He counted and snickered. I asked, what's so funny? Your total is lacking by two fifty-two. Your math needs improvement. But what else is new? I tore up my room in the quest for more cash.
Three pennies plinked out when I dumped out the trash. Deep down in my dresser, I dug out a bug. Two quarters turned up in a shoebox. What luck! I did some addition and added the stuff. Only 153. It wasn't enough. How much would I need to complete the transaction? I picked up my pencil and did some subtraction. From 252, I took 153. Just 99 cents and I'd finally be free! Way down in the hamper, eight nickels were shining. I dished out five, six dimes from my winter lining coat. My chance came to 40 plus 60 cents more. My heart thumped and jumped as I totaled the score. All the money was there with a penny to spare. I cheered and did cartwheels. I jumped in the air. He flipped me a penny and shredded my bill. He was smiling. Call me. You know that you will. My homework that night was on decimal places. I opened the book and made horrible faces. I pulled out some paper and worked problem one with the hint of a grin. Could it be? Was this fun? As I worked problem two, I was starting to think. For the very first time, maybe math doesn't stink. Then deep in the shelves, I sensed someone lurking. I knew who it was, so I kept right on working. You need me, he bellowed. He thundered and roared. But the louder he got, well, the more I ignored. The more I ignored. And while I was carefully writing and thinking, I couldn't believe it. The monster was shrinking. The more I kept working, the smaller he got, till he shrank to the size of a wee little dot. I glanced at the guy just a minuscule speck. Then I looked at my homework and said, What the heck? I scooped him right up. I could still see his face. And I dropped him right down in a decimal points place. The point in the middle of 7.9 point. I smushed him down flat and he stuck there just fine. I finished my homework and climbed into bed, remembering something the monster has said. If you don't pay up front, you'll pay later instead. And though that old monster was far from a friend, and his service was one that I can't recommend, he did make a very good point in the end. That end.